After having accumulated over 2,317 Universal Legendary Commander Sculptures, it's time to go expertise some commanders, and Theodora, <laughs> she is first on my list. Stick around to watch us expertise this commander and then test out how she performs. Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Chiskul Gaming, a sponsored content creator for Rise of Kingdoms, and today we are going to be expertising Theodora just days before our battling in Kingsland. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. The main event for our Kingdom vs. Kingdom is only five days away from the time of my recording this, which means you're about to see a ton of crazy flag rallying and defending action. And look, it's no secret, okay? It's no secret when you're battling in the Kingsland over here that Theodora seems to do really well in dealing with the skills of none other than Takeda. So I like the idea of investing in Theodora, if for no other reason than to protect my city. And I don't even know if I'm going to be a garrison captain yet. Uh, I know I'll probably be rallying when we go into Kingsland, but I need to protect my city, okay? I'm an above average target, I would argue, <laughs> for getting zeroed. Uh, so I need to go in and make my city look as tough to rally as tough to swarm down or multi-rally as possible now right now on my wall we've got charles martel and esong we're going to test this out and then compare to the charles martel theodora see how they do i'm also kind of interested to take theodora for a spin in canyon and like i don't know does like an esong theodora actually do anything i would assume not but gosh if i could hit Four targets with both the primary and secondary commander. Doesn't that seem good? Let's uh, find out. Step one, we got to go in here. We got to go in and expertise our Theodora. So let's go and do that. We scroll on down. Here she is. People must have thought, like, Chiskel, you're never going to use these sculptures. I generally would say most people should not save this many. But I am a huge advocate of investing in the right commander at the right time. I'm Pretty sure Theodora is that right commander, and I'm ready to make my investment, so here we go. Let's start investing those Universal Legendary Commander Sculptures. Let's get those Sculptures headed over. We've got to max both the third and the fourth skill to unlock her Expertise skill, and that Expertise skill is going to clear all debuffs, which is very powerful. Clearing all debuffs is significant because commanders like for instance, Takeda cause a debuff that makes Takeda do 30% more normal attack damage. He's got a debuff that is making it so he procs for extra damage. I mean, there's all kinds of debuffs that you really don't want to have impacting your combat effectiveness. So we're just going to move over these sculptures now. Unlock that expertise skill. And that, by the way, is also a really compelling expertise skill for a game mode like Canyon where you are getting hit by lots of debuffs and clearing them is a pretty good deal. All right, so we've now got the fourth skill maxed. Pretty sure we just unlocked an achievement for having done that. Very nice. We've got two more skills to go before we've completely maxed out this commander. Boom. And one more skill. Oh my gosh, finally investing these universal legendary commander sculptures. Here we go, 80 Sculptures, the final skill up for Theodora to unlock her expertise. There is the final skill, and are you ready? Are you ready for the expertise? Oh yeah, baby. Boom. Expertise for Theodora unlocked, honor to the last, immediately removes those slow and control effects. My understanding is that's pretty much all negative effects. Theodora's troops then deals damage to up to five enemies in that circle area. 1,700 damage factor. The time has come to be using these universal legendary commander sculptures. Beautiful. First thing we need to do is put her on our wall. So let's snap that off real quick. Oh, yes. Theodora. Hello, baby. Now, we need to test the effectiveness of Esong on the wall versus Theodora on the wall. I think the way to go and do that 
most easily is to go into Expedition. We'll use the Defensive Node where the city is getting swarmed down. We're going to use that combo that we were just talking about, the Charles Martel, first with the E Song. And then we'll try it with a Theodora and just see if we even notice a difference. And quite frankly, like, I don't know that we will. I don't know that we will. So let's go with 200 and, uh, let's see, 200,000 of each troop type. And that roughly represents the breakdown of what's in my city. And then we'll max that out with Siege. This is about, but not quite right. Uh, but good enough, I think, for the test. Let's just hit Ready and Start. So this first test, we'll see how it goes. Um, we're basically getting swarmed in this situation. I would rather, I really would rather, if this game mode, they kind of sent rallies at you. That would be really chill if they did that. They don't. In fact, opportunity for future nodes in this game mode, in my opinion, would be to have a situation where you're getting single rallied and a situation where you're getting double rallied if they ever did expand the expedition. So this is what you're used to, the good old-fashioned E-Song. I suppose I could have tested the Theodora before and the after, but for most players, you're probably not defending your city with a partial Theodora. That's because Theodora becomes available to you just so late into the game in Rise of Kingdoms. So uh, we've got to survive for a full three minutes here. I'll show how some of this unfolds, and I am just going to point out that presumably I'm getting debuffed from all of these different marches, although I don't see any indicators that I'm getting debuffed, which is kind of unusual. Normally a Richard I would be reducing my damage, and I don't see that happening. So maybe the debuff clearing portion of Theodora's abilities isn't really tested in this game mode, which is actually a little bit surprising to me. Let's fast forward to the results, see what we think, and then we'll compare to that Theodora who is now expertised. Okay, 50 seconds remaining in this test. It is kind of remarkable that at multiple times throughout the test here, we seem to completely wipe the field uh, of all troops that are actually hitting the city. Uh, and there are, at this point in time, over 650,000 troops remaining. I expect that will be the case at the conclusion of this test. Now, with the Theodora in play here, I think she's going to be powerful for a number of reasons. Uh, and in particular, I'm excited to have her defending my wall because, first of all, she does extra effects when you are above 50% strength. You can see here, we're definitely above 50% strength still. So she's going to deliver a lot of extra punch at the start of the fighting. The thing that she does that's not going to really benefit us here and not really be reflected is that she does, I believe, reduce the damage taken. Uh, from rallies by 10%, and there are no rallies here. So some of her skills are not really fully utilized in this context. So there we go. We had about 50, 650,000 troops remaining here. Let's run that exact same test, and let's see how it goes with a Theodora secondary. It's going to be kind of funny if it actually is no better, although that would really surprise me. Uh, a part of the reason that would surprise me is because Theodora is boosting the stats of all troop types and the effectiveness of all troop types, whereas Esong is really solely focused on archers. So let's line up that Theodora secondary, get the troops in order here, 200,000 of each troop, with the exception of the siege units, for which <laughs> we'll just fill with siege, probably not the ratio an ideal city breakdown would have, but that looks pretty good. We'll fire this off. I suppose doing 225,000 of each other troop type would have been a better representation, but it's, you know, it's close enough. So here we go. The Charles Martel Theodora combo. Now, weirdly enough, I don't know why my Charles Martel, you see like a marker that he, like he's at 50% already. I'm going to be eager to see what that means. Is it indicating to me when my commander is actually above 50% versus below 50%? That'd be kind of cool. Charles Martel skill activation, and there's Theodora doing work. Hitting five targets just like Esong is going to. However, we're not going to generate as much rage, but uh, still plenty of rage being generated here. Wow. That Theodora ability actually looks pretty legit when, it experts, when it's expertise. I think those rocks are now on fire, whereas they were not before, which is kind of cool. I actually like the way this looks. Performing decently, it would seem. 
I mean, we'll fast forward a little bit here and see how it does. All right, we're back with 50 seconds to go, and you can see this is actually performing much better. At about this time in the last round, we were at about 660,000 troops left. We're at 690,000 troops left at the moment. Um, and I think this will perform better. Now, some of this could just be randomness, and this isn't really the best way to go and test this. No, I mean, rallying an Ark of Osiris and, uh, you know, testing at a pass, those are certainly much more effective tests. Uh, but the sort of challenge with, you know, a city defense and trying to test it is that there are talents specifically dedicated to city defense that are worth using. Uh, and those talents only activate if you are defending your city. Well, the only way that's going to happen is if someone's getting dead troops. So this is a decent way to go and test, and we definitely have many more troops remaining here, at least 30,000 more troops at the conclusion of this, which is perhaps an indicator that this will perform better. Now, the next thing I really want to go and test is actually battling in Canyon and using the... Theodora secondary. Like, this is an interesting idea, right? So we'll use one of our tickets over here, and we'll go battle, um, who is this? Lord Woody Wood. Now, what I want to do is test out whether or not the Theodora AoE performs well or not. I don't know. We've only got two relevant skills here. We've got the 1700 damage factor, which also clears negative effects. And I believe it's this skill over here. All troops under Theodora's command gain 10% attack. When your army is at 50% or more strength, you deal 10% more damage. That's all that's relevant. This is a garrison skill over here. Um, and this is a garrison skill over here. So let's just see how this performs. Even just see, like, how many targets do we think we hit with our AoE? And maybe we think this performs better. Maybe not. Let's... uh. Let's give it a shot. Let's find out. I don't know. I don't know. The thing we're really hunting for in this is whether or not Theodora's AoE is hitting four targets. If I can hit four targets with her AoE, the raw damage from that seems really good. And honestly, look at the positioning here. I think it will hit four targets. Here comes the Esong AoE. So there's the Esong AoE. It hit all the targets. And, hmm, hard to say how many targets we hit there. She's already, however, below 50%, which is not promising. There's the AoE. That might have hit all four targets. That might have hit all four targets. But she might just not have enough relevant skills to fit the bill here. I don't know. I think we might actually just kind of lose this overall. And I don't think I'm impressed enough with her AoE to cut it. Now, this is interesting. The way these troops were configured actually worked out, I think, somewhat to my favor. Well, I think I'm still going to lose and not by a small amount here. Oof. Okay. Not amazing. Not amazing. I think we can skip this. If I try the exact same thing, let's try the exact same thing here. We'll see if we can find Woody again and battle against him. And when we do that, we're going to try it this time using our... Mehmed, and just see if that does better. I think it was doing better, quite frankly. So I think the Theodora is probably not a thing in this game mode, but one test is really not adequate. So there we go. We're going to run back this exact same fight and see how it does. Possible I should arrange my troops a little bit differently, but let's just run the exact same thing for comparison purposes and see how we do here. All right, so we use Theodora in the first one. This time we're not using Theodora. I think that I'm not all that impressed with her damage in this game mode. And and I wasn't really expecting I would be terribly impressed, right? But I think the radius might not be big enough. Or just frankly having two and really like one and a half relevant skills just isn't cutting it. So here we go with the Mehmed secondary. We are having our uh, Joan Takeda get really wrecked by... Um, really wrecked by the presence of their Alexander the Great, who's in that lane. And I don't know that this is actually sort of turning out any different than the previous matchup. Looks like Lord Woody's actually got a pretty solid defense here. And I find it surprising that the bottom lane configured the way that it is is actually working 
I probably would need to attack this combo a little bit differently. Uh, but at the end of the day, this didn't perform directionally really any different. This didn't perform really any different than the previous round. In fact, this, this does look a good bit better for my assault, but still not going to be a victory. So I don't know that Theodora is really a thing. Certainly it was not so game-changing that I would have gone from losing to winning. And I suspect that using Theodora in this game mode is cute, but probably not good. That would be my takeaway from just that one quick battle. All in all, I'm super hyped that I've now got Theodora expertise. I'm definitely going to be using her on my wall. My city will hopefully get rallied this KVK and we'll kind of see how that goes. And we'll probably have the opportunity to do some garrisoning as well in this kingdom versus kingdom. Just getting a look now at the number of sculptures I have remaining. 1,828 is still a lot of sculptures. There's still a lot of commanders that we can go in expertise. I am very much looking forward to expertising quite a few more commanders before we actually make our way to Kingsland. So if you're interested in seeing that, as well as the unbelievably epic fighting that is going to unfold in the coming week, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss a thing. If you're looking for more videos to watch from our Season 5 of KVK, I'll put a card up in the top for a whole playlist of action that we've had battling against other kingdoms in this KVK and also the events leading up to this point. Until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom.